Hi. Hello. Howdy. Welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza 2. We're doing more of the, the Diet Atom Club. <laughs> I guess calling it Diet Atom's not fair, but I couldn't think of a better name for it, so... Yeah, let's, let's check our current status, because I don't think we did that last time, if I recall correctly. I'd be very surprised if we did, because I don't remember making any changes beyond the gaudy fucking thing that we did. Whatever. The point is, we've gotten a little bigger. No shit. This is thanks to you, Mr. Kiryu. We have some time for operating expenses, too. Please use it as you will. You can grow bigger. Good luck. All right. What... What are we doing here? It's about to say the club. Okay, sales aren't good. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, I just wanted to actually. No, 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 no. I didn't want that. I just want to change the like furnishings and shit, and I meant to do that. Okay, price settings first. So I don't know what the fuck you're doing changing prices on me. Because actually no, that's the right price range. Never mind, never mind. You're totally fine. You're totally correct. <laughs> I thought we were going for cheaper than that, but no, we actually want eight thousand to ten thousand. Sorry, Musashi, I almost ripped open your asshole. But this I am gonna rip open your asshole about. We want the cheap menu, goddammit. Yes, we want the cheap menu. So yeah, we're serving cheap food here. Why would you come to a strip club for the food? Anyway, next, we're going to be purchasing some furnishings. Sofas. Leather sofa black. A million two hundred thousand. Does this sofa suck your dick? Does it lick your asshole? Can you shit in it? That's so much. We're buying it, though. Is this alright? Yeah, it's alright. Alright, next up is going to be tables. Let's go to the marble table. Marble table! That actually looks... That is justifiably more expensive to me. Because that actually looks pretty nice. So yeah, I, I think that's... Yeah. Whatever. Marble table. Next is going to be the lighting. Let's get the vintage lamp. Why vintage? Because it's... I don't know. <laughs> because. The guide tells me to. All right, next on the list is wallpaper. Please be good. Uh, gothic. I can't afford this. Oh, you won't have enough money to buy the wallpaper and flooring. Well, I should have read that part of the guide. Whatever. Let's now install. Actually, wait. I, I can still buy the plants. I can buy plants and paintings. I should do that. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud here. So, we're buying the weeping fig. Cool. I, I mean, sure, why not? Okay, paintings, and we're gonna be doing fantasy painting. Cool. That does look kinda, kinda nice, I guess. Whatever. Alright, we barely have any money now, so... Well, in the club. We have plenty of money outside of it. Anyway, let's go back, and now, let's install all this shit. Right. You wanna change the club's design? Yes, I do. Alright. It must be kind of annoying to, f like, if you buy this shit and then you forget to install it. Because <laughs> it's like, this thing costs so much money, and if I forgot to install it, I'd be so mad at myself. The menuing for this side quest does leave a little bit to be desired, I won't lie, but whatever. It's a PS2 game. Marble Table Deep Blue. This thing still looks nice to me, so... Okay. Next, the important vintage lamp. Vintage. I'm adding a second end of vintage. Hooray! Did it install them? Yes. It didn't look like it, but... Alright, whatever. I guess the option's just there. Okay, wallpaper I can't afford yet. So decorative plant, we're doing weeping fig. God knows this is so important. I mean, I guess it looks nicer, to be fair. You know, not for nothing. Why'd they get rid of my other painting? What happened to it? Whatever. There we go. Alright, let's make plenty of money now. Yes, y yeah. Sorry, I just I forgot I had to confirm it. Alright, let's converse with everyone. 
Shinatsu, you're at full, so I probably won't even need to do anything with you, but just for the fuck of it. Oh, I can't even... I can't even... Okay, did I do it last time? I must have. That, mu that must be why they're all at decent levels. I'll check Niho, and if I can't scold or compliment her, then I'm just not going to check the rest. Alright, bye. Alright, well... Now we get to do the very fun and thrilling part of the Club Marietta section. And you know what that is? Guys, you know what that is? That is the part where we leave the club and then we run all the way to Meb and we just wait. And you know what? I'm feeling particularly spicy and saucy today. So, you know what I'm going to do? Or what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to edit out the waiting. I'm sorry. It It's... it's this is the mission. <laughs> I am not going to edit out the fucking waiting. Why? Because I think that's the spirit of this side quest. And who am I? Who am I? To dampen Yakuza 2's spirit. So let's let's do this shit. You know what we're going to do while we're waiting? I'm going to talk about things. I'm going to talk about my Fire Emblem Autism special interest hell period I've been going through. Uh, and, I, and when I say autism, I mean like I've, I've been diagnosed with it. So... I'm not- I'm not using it like a fucking 4chan or something. I actually have autism. Anyways, uh, so Fire Emblem is a video game series <laughs> that I have- have put many hours into, and I recently, for whatever reason, because my friend's playing Awakening for the first time, I just got- got this sudden urge to play the games again. So... Uh, after going through and rating every single Awakening support of pairing romantically, of which ones I liked the most, and then doing that, I decided, fuck it, let me resume where I left off my Hector Hard Mode replay in Fire Emblem 7. Because, uh, I was replaying that, and then I just stopped out of nowhere. I don't know why, in retrospect, because I ended at, uh, Chapter 20, Dragon's Gate. And this was... And for those of you who don't know, that's like right after a, a couple of really bad chapters, uh, 19X and 19X2. And I'm shocked I, I didn't like stop, like get stuck on those, but I actually beat them. 19X especially. X2 isn't as bad, but Fog of War can be annoying, uh, especially on hard mode. So yeah, uh, I just resumed there. we are doing pretty well so far. Uh, I cleared chapter 20 and 21. I spent a shitload of time arena grinding in 21 uh i forget the chapter's name i want to say it's new resolve uh so this is the one that's fog of war in the town with oleg and uh there were a shitload more reinforcements than i recalled and i almost lost rebecca twice i feel like because wyverns are scary on hard mode but no one died like on my first attempt i mean so that's that's nice and then arena grinding, I arena grinded Rebecca, Kanas, Elliewood, Raven, Guy, and Fiora. And uh, I promoted Fiora, Raven, and Rebecca. But, and yeah, that, 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 that took forever and a day, but I did do it. Uh, I love arena grinding, even though it is also like the number one cause of cortisol in my body. <laughs> that shit like tenses me the fuck up. But, you know, once you do it, you you, you really are just like, it, 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 it pays for itself almost. <laughs> I guess it, like literally in the game, it does pay for itself. Uh, but yeah, my Elliot's kind of been shitty, but after arena grinding, I kind of made him somewhat decent. He's in this weird position where he has like, he's at level 20 and he, ha oh, hi, hi, M Masashi. Mr. Kiyu, sir, I've got the totals for tonight. Come to the club next time you pass it. Blah, 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 All right, let's go back. Anyway, so he's like, so he's at level 20 right now. And he has like literally 12 D. Fuck off, Masashi. I knew he was going to call twice, by the way. I just didn't think he was going to call twice immediately. It's me, Masashi. Big trouble here at the club, sir. Please, you've got to come by the Marietta. I was literally on my way. Anyway, he has 20 defense and... Or, not 20. He has 12 defense, which is still a lot, I feel like. I don't remember how much defense Ellie would start with off the top of my head, but, like, it's gotta be, like, what, four? Maybe five? And so, like, that's, like, a lot of defense level ups, considering he's well, he's only got 11 strength. He has more defense than strength, which is insane to me. So, uh, yeah. 
Hollywood's been pretty terrible, but Lynn's really good. Uh, Lynn's, like, really hard to fuck up in general. And Hector is doing alright. I might drop a few skill books on him, though, because his skill's low. And there's not really anyone else who needs skill. And I only have a couple more characters I'm planning to use. Uh, specifically, Heath and Nino. Please stop it! Okay, fine, I'll stop talking about Fire Emblem. Can I save first? I want to save just in case this is... I don't know. Just in case there's, like, a heat action I want to do in here. Because maybe this is the... Maybe this was the club I was thinking of where you needed to do, like, a, a pole swing heat action. I could have sworn there was one. So, let's see. I don't think there's poles in here, though, are there? Uh, no. Stop! What are you talking about? I'm paying good money to be in here! Now pour me another drink, goddammit! I can't take this! I quit! Hey, you're that guy from before! Alright, that does it. Time for some payback, buddy. It's all over, man! You're damn right. It's time to put an end to this. Step outside. Well, we're, we're fighting outside, so no pole swinging. I, I must have just imagined that. Whatever. I've put too much time and effort into that club to see it get screwed up by you. <laughs> Whatever, man. Not like you own the place. I do own the place. <laughs> what? Whatever. Uh, yeah, well, so much the better. Saves us having to beat down two guys. Yeah. You're, you're really going to have a good shot of it this time. Was there... Did I have heat actions I needed to do with weapons? I think I had the bowling ball, didn't I? I think I did. I, I should double check because... I should be doing that if I don't. Uh, if I haven't done it already, which I don't think I have. Okay. Uh, actually, I need to taunt first. Well, let me just build heat action. Like, Asshole. Yeah, I've got plenty of heat now, so fuck your mother. God damn it. It's the second I get heat that you decide to do that shit. This is what happens when you fuck a grown man in the ass, Larry. Okay, now I have plenty of heat. That guy's about to do something to me, isn't he? Pause buffering saves the day. Anyways, that was the the bowling ball thing, which is good, I guess. All right, where is the weapon? Okay, bowling ball. We're at fifty heat actions. Big ol' fifty. I'm so emotional about it. Uh, bowling ball, where are you? Bowling. Real question, there it is. I see it now. I was about to say the real question is where the fuck is it in my spreadsheet? Well, Google Doc, actually, but whatever. And then that's the only other item I have. I still need a fucking baseball bat, bro. Can you guys give me a baseball bat to use? I promise I'll be real nice with it. What is that? Oh, it's the bait. It's the bowling ball. Well, who am I to deny... A little fun. Let's, let's do one more. Oh, asshole. Where'd my bowling ball go? Where'd my fucking bowling ball go? Oh, there it is. Why is it all the way over there? I bowled the other direction. Oh, fuck you. Just want to use my goddamn fucking bowling ball. There we go. Kanishi. I'm glad you die in Persona 4. Well, actually, only one of you dies, and that's the last name. Whatever. Actually, is it, is it, aren't last names and surnames the same thing? Bye. My bowling ball, I miss you. Grab it! Like, grab it! No, he doesn't grab Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I knew this encounter was coming, by the way, so... I'm just I spoiled myself by reading the guide. Unfortunately, Itakura will tell you that Riku quit and you need to recruit more girls. Really? She doesn't come back? Okay. You'll find a woman named Mayu in the western part of Champion District and a woman named Akira in the northern part. Okay. 
And you also find a woman named Hanako in front of the small burger. Enter Marietta and go change your... Okay, cool. G fuck! Listen, good buddy. If I see you near my club again, I'll put you in... Traction? What? What? I'll put you in traction. What? It, am I stupid? Does that mean something and I just don't know it? Alright. Alright, Itakura, tell me that Rika quit. Mr. Kiryu, I'm afraid Rika left us. That leaves a hole in our shift table. We need to hire another girl, sir. Could I ask you to play scout again? Now that we're a bigger space, I'd say we have room for two more girls. Perhaps this time it makes sense to look around the champion district. Alright, I'll see what I can find there. Alright. The real question is, who, what do I say to the girls? Because the guide hasn't told me. Y do I just talk to them and they're, like, receptive about it? Because didn't I have to say specific things to, uh, to what's-her-cunt? I don't remember. Whatever. So we're looking for western and northern part. Okay. Where are you, western and... Okay, you must be her. Hmm, I should ask if you were for blah, 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 blah. Ew, are you hitting on me? Ever think of working at a cabaret, miss? Oh, you're one of those. The club is called Marietta. Freshly renovated, very nice. I'm the owner. Oh, uh, yeah? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I am kind of in between jobs now. Care to help us liven up the night some? Hmm, sure. Sounds like fun. I'm in. My name's Mayu, by the way. Thanks for the offer. Mayu joined Marietta. Hooray. Well, let's go grab the northern girl now. Northern girl. Oh, northern girl. You must be her. Yeah, I guess there's no dialogue prompts. Hmm, I should ask her if she'd work for blah, 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 blah. Man, I think I drank too much. Ever think of working at Cabaret, miss? Huh? At a Cabaret? Right, it's the club called Marietta. Aren't Cabaret girls, like, pretty? I'm sure you'll look stunning there. Really? Absolutely. And sold! <laughs> Count me in. My name's Akira. Thanks a bunch, mister. Akira joined Marietta. All right, now let's go run to Smile Burger and go get some food. Because I clearly want just the food and not the other girl. Also, that's devious. They just put you immediately in front of Marietta instead of letting you go to Smile Burger. Wow. All right, um... So, does, does it matter which Smile Burger? You'll also find a woman named Hanako in front of the Smile Burger. Is there only one? I thought there was, like, multiple. Whatever. I guess let's walk to the first Smile Burger I can think of. I mean, fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? It's not like, it's not like this game has random encounters anymore. <laughs> Those are a thing of the fucking past. With how much fucking level grinding we've done. All I fucking wanted was fucking bangs. Anyways. Out of the way. Smile Burger. Okay. Hanako. Well, first, let me go to Smile Burger and eat food. Because I'm assuming if I talk to Hanako, it'll teleport me back to the Marietta. So, I'm pretty sure I've been ordering from the bottom up with Smile Burger if, I'm, if I, my memory serves me right. Yeah, okay, so stewed burger was the last thing I got. Alright, so we just need the top four. Whatever. I'll just keep at it, keep the pattern going. Alright, so stewed burger, let's get tuna burger. Tuna burger sounds a little questionable, I must confess. Because I like tuna, but like as a burger? I don't know, man. Whatever. And now let's go recruit Hanako. Hi, Hanako. Hmm, I should ask her if she'd work at Marietta for us. What is it? Ever think of working in a cabaret, miss? What does that, like, even mean? What do girls even do there? 
Well, let me start with a question. How old are you? Oh, 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 oh. How old are you now? I'm 20. Great, then you're all clear. Here you, this is not the best moment in the world for you, I must confess. All clear to what? The job is chatting and sharing drinks with clients, so you can't really be a minor. I guess, to be fair, drinking laws are different in Japan, so, she, you know, 20 is probably old enough to drink there, but whatever. If you're motivated, you can earn a bundle. Wow, really? Hmm, still kind of vague. I don't know. Well, you can start to see if you like the work, learn on the job, get paid. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, I haven't done anything crazy in a while. Well, I'll give it a try. You will? Sure. I'm Hanako, by the way. So, uh, where's your club, mister? I can take you there right now. Hanako joined the Marietta. Yep, and we transport back to the Marietta. Oh, that was so planned out. Alright. Now what? Uh, after repeating the usual steps, you have the best furnishing... Okay, so we're just doing the same old, same old shit again. Okay. Okay, so... Hi. Excellent work, Mr. Kiryu. You brought us to beauty, sir. And that Hanako bitch is fugly. I hate her. How dare you? Yeah, they should do nicely. Now that we're staffed, I can put together a new shift table. I'll leave the club setup decisions to you at your convenience, sir. Sure. Oh, and one other thing. If you're ever out and about and see another girl, we could certainly... I literally just... Whatever. Anyway, you scout her there. Okay. What the fuck was he doing? He was, like, freaking out when the cutscene ended. Whatever. What? Uh, Mr. Kiryu, we're taking some kudos for... Blah, 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 whatever. All right. Uh, well, let's see what the damage is. I eagerly await our profits. I eagerly... Like, why is this loading screen taking so long? There we go. Mr. Kiryu, I've been waiting for you. I have the same voice as Akira now. Our sales from last time were in total 500,000 yen. <laughs> it's a decent amount, but I think we should take such... Yeah, I know. I'm on it. I'm on it. Shut up. I'm on it. Okay. So now, purchase furnishings. We need to buy wallpaper. Can we afford the new wallpaper? Gothic. We can't. We're just shy of it. What about the flooring? Flooring that we want is rose carpet, it looks like. We can't afford that either. Okay, cool. Well, I guess if we um, if we make all the girls happy again, then that'll give us a lot more money. Because now that we have more and we could make them happier. I don't know. Alright, Chinatsu, can I talk to you at least? Chinatsu, will you save me? Yeah, I can, I can compliment you. Shinatsu, you're my favorite one. I'm not gonna read this, though. You know, I'm just, I'm, gl I'm just glad that this guide exists. I can imagine wasting so much time trying to figure it out the hard way, like what works, what, what doesn't. So, I am kind of grateful for that. Hi, Gozaimasu. Hi, Miho. And then Ron, we have to scold again. When Marionetta expands for the first time, you have to scold her, and the first time you have to talk to her, and then always compliment her. Okay. No, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I did not mean to do that. I meant to exit. So yeah, now we'll scold what's her cunt, uh, Ron. Ron, get your tookus in here. I need to scold you. You're actually, you, your affection is so good. Why do, why do I even bother? Whatever. But we can make your affection better. We can go bigger. Scold. Maybe I should give her a talking to. No, I have blah, 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 blah. I hope she's not mad. Okay. I, I shouldn't have doubted the guide. Anyways. So next we have uh, Akira and Mayo. Mayu and Hanako. Seems like there's only two more girls we even have to recruit after this. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So, Akira. Akira, always scold her. Alright. 
I mean, fuck it. If it works. Skull. Blah 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 I'm assuming I'm gonna have to give her one of the rose bouquets. Yes? No? Yep. Alright. Excuse me, the lily bouquets. Cool. Alright, let's exit. Bye. You're my best friend now. Wow, that really does raise by a lot. Jesus. <laughs> that raises by so much, it's almost like... Like, if you just use those, you don't even have to give a shit. Whatever. I only use them as necessary. So with Mayu, we're gonna be... complimenting. Cool. Ooh, always compliment her. What? Sorry, I'm just looking at Hanukkahs now, and it says, Always compliment her. Note that it only works once with her. What does that mean? Does that mean that, like, I'm gonna have to just give her bouquets for the rest of eternity? Because, alright, whatever. I'll just try complimenting her next time and see what happens. Just, just, just for the, just for the reference, I guess, to know. Anyway. Hi, Hanako. Wow, I'm gonna be number one. Yeah, you sure are. I probably need to buy more King Poké soon, but whatever. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just have him on hand just in case, because, uh... You know, it doesn't hurt to be prepared. I can always just sell him back. Money's such a not issue to me in this game that it's like, why not? So anyways, uh... Let's exit. This, yes I do. So anyway, uh, with Fire Emblem, the thing about it for me is that it's it's weird how like shipping is actually kind of like a very important mechanic in that game once you get to like mid-maxing. So that's like the thing that's always drawn me to like obsessively make spreadsheets and shit about it. Like like the supports mechanic I actually love. I hate what they did with it in Fire Emblem Awakening where every character supports every character and it stops feeling like they're like individuals or like, you know, this character would talk to this character because they have something in common or this character, you know, would would primarily only talk to these types of people because they would feel comfortable, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just like, oh, suddenly every character is going to talk to everyone and they can all romance each other even if it's uh, impractical. Because, of course, you know, you're not going to fucking romance romance everyone you work with <laughs> well i mean like you're not gonna I, I guess in theory you could potentially but you know it's not gonna be like equitable levels of marriage you know anyways i i could talk about how much i don't like awakening but everyone everyone talks about awakening in a bad way so fuck it uh anyways for no one asked but if i if i ever replay awakening i am marrying pan i'm sorry i don't give a fuck she's hot i'm sorry like yeah, I'm a furry. What about it? What about it? No, really. Bring it to my attention. What about it? What the fuck are you going to do about it? Anyways. Uh, you know what? I, I, I just... I feel like the games probably wouldn't have gripped me nearly as much if it weren't for support, though. Because I feel like support conversations really, like, hooked me in the worst way. Because I really like getting the backstory on characters in diegetic ways. Instead of, like, oh, man, I'm, I'm character from Nation. This is how I feel. Instead of it, you know, I, I prefer it when it's like, oh, you know, I'm talking to this character from a different nation. And our cultures are going to clash because of our views on religion or, you know, mortality or love or the military or family or whatever. You know, stuff like that. I, I, I think it's really, really neat. And it's all optional, too. So it's like if you really, you really don't want to bother with, like, getting all that extra shit then it's fine, you know. You, I don't know why you wouldn't want to bother with it, to be frank, but, you know, it's optional. And it's, like, it's flavor. It's, it's, it's set dressing. It's, it's, it's just, it's nice. You know? Is it wrong to like nice things in the world? I don't know, man. Anyway, suffice it to say, I've been considering eventually doing Let's Plays of Fire Emblem games again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to announce it this way, but I am considering it. Oh, it'll be miserable to watch, and I'll be doing it in a very tedious 
particular way, but it will be something I probably will do eventually in like 17 years. Just like Mega Man Battle Number 2, which I do eventually want to do, but oh my god, I still have to unlock hard mode for that, and oh my god, unlocking hard mode, I just... Oh, I'm so not motivated to do that right now. I really am. Oh my god, go to hell and kill yourself. You motherfucker. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me, you motherfucking pocket tissues. Anyways. Anyways. I don't know. Fire Emblem is like that series I can't recommend to anyone. Because if you weren't there, it's like, why would I recommend it to you now? Now the series is like a meat and fuck, and it, and the most recent Fire Emblem game is like, oh man, what if you were a teacher but your student was really hot? Like that's the fucking premise of that, you know. The series just became like fucking like porn without porn. It's just like, why would you even need that? What what, what are you getting out of it? And that most recent trailer, the protagonist looks fugly, but I'm not the only one who said that, and you know. Insert, insert your crest toothpaste jokes here. They'll brighten up my day. Uh, anyways. Can I get a call yet? Can I get a call yet? <laughs> I've run out of Fire Emblem stuff to talk about. Uh, that isn't just me talking about the, every single game in great detail. Hey! Masashi's calling. Yeah, answer the phone. Mr. Gear, you sir, I've got the totals for tonight. Come to the club next time you're passing, I'll be here. Alright, alright, thanks. Alright, well that's a good time to split the segment, so let's do that. So anyways, the thing about Fire Emblem that really ruins every playthrough for me is that whenever I play it, I always have to use at least one character who uses a weapon. So like, I can't play a game, like any of the Fire Emblems without using all the weapon types. Which can be a problem, especially in Radiant Dawn, for reasons I won't go into. Oh, hi, hi, uh, Misashi, what's up? The fuck, Hanako? Why are you so upset? Why did you go from, like, nearly full to, like, disappointed now? Whatever. Uh, our sales 600,000. That barely feels like an improvement, but whatever. Alright. Let's, let's now buy the, uh, the, the wallpaper. The gothic wallpaper. Yeah. Wait, was it gothic I had to buy? It was gothic, right? I think it was. Wallpaper. Yeah, it was gothic. Okay, good. Because if it wasn't, that would have been very stupid. But, yeah, gothic. Okay. Alright, I can't afford the flooring, but uh, that's that's a problem for, for for ten minutes from now. You watch these clubs design, yeah. Wallpaper. Yeah. Eh, that looks kind of nice. I mean, this club does look very nice compared to how it looked originally, so, you know, there's really, really no complaints here, just, man. Alright, I can't do anything with the women, so let's just let them go about their business. Something about that sounds very, like, red pill, the way I phrase that, but whatever. You know, it can't be helped. Sometimes I say things, and then I have to live with the consequences of them. Anyways. <sighs> So anyway, back to Fire Emblem. So when I'm doing, when I'm talking about Let's Playing the Fire Emblem games, here's what I'm talking about in terms of the actual agony I would put myself through. The first game I would Let's Play is Fire Emblem 6. Hard mode. <laughs> and why would I do that? Because I don't want to ever do it again. Like, if I do it on screen, it's like, it'll save questions for like, if I play 7, people will be like, are you ever going to do 6? And it's just like, I just want to do 7. But I also, you know, I I, I don't know. I, I feel like I've been unfair and overly harsh to 6. But can you blame me? 6 kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I would really, really appreciate 6 if the support library actually tracked your supports over the entire game. Like, cartridge rather than just per playthrough. Kind of like what Path of Radiance does now, which is... Well, like, I wish it wasn't like Path of Radiance, you know what I mean? But, whatever. It, it's just... I, I'm, I'm really a support library bitch at the end of the day. Anyways. Speaking of which, I'm, I'm also planning on doing some replays of Fire Emblem 7 on my own time to get 100% supports. Uh, 
like the library 100% supports. Uh, before anyone says anything, I've already done this before. What happened was I had an old cartridge that I did this with. Got 100% supports, all the CGs. Uh, I never got max rank uh, for most modes because I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry, the way I play the games is, like, Tactician never, is never above one star the way I play them. But I did basically everything else. Uh, and then unfortunately, due to circumstances I will not delve into, I ran out of money in my life and I had to pay rent, so I had to sell stuff. Most of which were video games. And that included Fire Emblem, unfortunately. And my heart broke the day I had to mail that out. Because I knew in my heart of hearts that I would miss it dearly. And I do. I do miss my old cartridge. Fortunately, my current cartridge is mostly, like, blank. Well, besides the stuff I've done on it already, so... It's kind of like a new beginning for it, but I don't know. Anyways, I want the 100% supports library, if only because it's so fucking awful to get. Jesus Christ. It's so bad. It's so bad. But I want it. I want it. I want it. Uh, anyways. Uh, so I'm doing that, and... I... I guess I'll do it for Sacred Stones, too, because that same thing happened with Sacred Stones, where I had to sell it. Although Sacred Stones is a lot easier to get 100% supports in because of the way it's structured. Tower of Volume makes it so where you could get literally, like, any support you needed ever. As long as you reach the end of... Well, you don't even have to reach the end of a playthrough, actually. You could just get any sort of, like, like character that you need to support, and then just support them with literally every character they need to support, and then blah, 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 blah. <sighs> But that's a pain in the ass. But I'll probably do it. I'm not as crazy about Sacred Stones, but I do like that game a lot. In fact, you could say I love it. I just hate the main characters. Okay, I don't hate them, but... Just, just, the twins are so fucking boring as characters to me. And, and the villain of that game, which I guess is a mild spoiler, so I won't name the villain, but the villain of that game is also really fucking boring to me. Like, ugh, it's just, it's lame. Anyways. Mr. Kiryu, sir, I've got the totals for tonight. Anyways. So, I do eventually have long-term plans to do Fire Emblem Let's Plays. I make absolutely no promises to how fru fruitous, fortuitous, fortuitous, whatever. I was trying to say, like, fruition, but, like, as fortuitous, but that's not a word. I, I make no promises to how well things will happen on that front. For all I know, I could try Fire Emblem 6 on hard mode and get turbo trolled out of everything in my life. Which is very likely, because I play that game on normal mode and get turbo trolled. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Fire Emblem's a weird series. I, I, you know, it's weird how there's no game that came out after Radiant Dawn, but people still talk about Fire Emblem. I don't know why that is. Like, it's, it's so fucking bizarre. Like, wh what the fuck is Fire Emblem Awakening? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean that's a Fire Emblem game? That's that's fucking bizarre of you to insist that. <laughs> Anyways. So now we can probably get the, uh, 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 f was it the flooring? Yeah, the, the rose carpet flooring. And then after that, we'll probably get renovations as a, as a thing. I don't know. 600,000 again. Hooray. Why can't the rest of you be like Mayu and Chinatsu and Ron? They're so fucking easy to please. Whatever. Alright, purchase furnishings. Flooring. Pop. What the fuck? What? I, I don't understand why it's called pop. Is it because, like, it's popular? Or is that, like, a soda pop design? Or what? Whatever. Hooray, Rose. That one actually looks kind of good in theory, but it might look bad if it's stretched out over the span of a floor. You know, it might look kind of like a blood... Ah, actually, maybe not. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating. Whatever. Let's now install the rose carpeting. Change furnishings. Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, flooring. How does this look? Eh. I don't hate it. it actually, it, it's growing on me a bit as the second passes. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Eh. At least it's not the fucking animal design. The animal design was hideous. 
Yeah, this is the sign I want. Alright. So that's everything we need. And then let's talk to all of our favorite girls. I literally don't even need to talk to Chinatsu, but I will because Chinatsu is my favorite. Hi, Chinatsu. You're my favorite. I know managers aren't supposed to pick favorites, just like mothers, but, but I mean, we all know they do. <laughs> we all know they do. Anyways. Yeah, good. bye, Chinatsu. Next up is Miho, my second. Actually, you're very low, but whatever. I better not have to give you a bouquet, little miss. I'm gonna compliment you, you better get a lot of affection from it. Alright. Yeah, we're done with this. I kinda wish this was a little bit quicker, but whatever. Eh, she's fine. Ron! Let's, let's compliment Ron and get her all the way up. Hi, Ron. I, I mean, I, I actually do kind of like this more than Adam, but we have to be honest with ourselves. It is, like, almost objectively less content. Because at least we were, like, learning about characters in, in, in Adam. This is just, like, whatever. It's, I, I don't think it's, I don't think the game is worse for having this. It's certainly not, but it's, like, I don't understand. <sighs> whatever. I gotta get used to this. This is only the second Yakuza game, and I've heard that these games have shit like this all the time, so I just need to get used to it. And I do eventually want to play the other Yakuza games, even though I've heard bastardly things about them as well, in terms of 100%ing. But... You know, who am I? Who am I to deny the call of completionism? Right? Right? I might even compliment you, by the way. I, I, I honestly wonder what it must have been like when I was like, before I discovered the idea of cataloging games and backloggery.com and like measuring how many games I've completed. I wonder how my brain like worked. I wonder how my neurons and synapses were firing then. Because <laughs> I can't remember what it was like. I can't remember what it was like to play a game and be like, I'm not going to 100% this if I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, I, there have been games I've given up on for 100%ing, like Bioshock Infinite is, is one of my favorite ones to reference because I just fucking despise that game. But, uh, I don't know. So if I compliment you now, Hanukkah, are you going to just be like, ah, whatever, eat your shit out? Let's see what happens. Compliment. Doing what? Well, whatever. Okay. So, do we scold you then? Whatever. Hey, look! A pink lily rose bouquet! Well, pink lily bouquet, not rose. Whatever. Bye, Hanako. So, Hanako is the most difficult one. But she still went up to over max, so that's fine. Or over half, I mean. Alright. When are we going to get the call for a renovation? I don't actually know. Let me check what the guide says. Do, 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 do. After repeating all the usual steps, you'll have all the best finishings and your hostess's morale... Excuse me. Raise as high as you can without giving them bonuses. Like before, you'll get a call and Yudakura will tell you there's a problem. Oh. Alright. Okay. Okay. All right, sure, fuck it. Sorry, I just, I, I'm not going to say what that means, but, like, <laughs> I'm not going to say what the guy just told me, but I might as well just save, because something important is about to happen. Important, in quotation marks. Meanwhile, while we're waiting for that important thing to happen, I'm going to talk more about Fire Emblem, and, and how my life has been ruined by video games. I don't know. I'm... I think the biggest problem with Let's Playing the Fire Emblem games for me right now is that I'm going to have to do a Let's Play of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, and I want to keep the transfer bonuses that I would get from that Path of Radiance file I'm doing a Let's Play of, and I want to use those transfer bonuses in, in Radiant Dawn, I mean. But the other problem is with Radiant Dawn, I would want to show not only hard mode, because I have beaten Radiant Dawn on hard mode, which is a, a fucking diabolical thing to do, but it is possible. Uh, but also I'd want to show the New Game Plus content, because there is New Game Plus content in that game, believe it or not. 
And I've never actually done it myself, because I've been meaning to, but every time I do, it's like, I want transfer bonuses from my play my last playthrough of Path of Radiance. So then it's like, then I never end up doing a fucking, like, I never end up getting the New Game Plus shit. Which is a shame, because the New Game Plus stuff looks really interesting. Especially one cutscene in particular, which is very relevant to my very homosexual interest. Anyways. So, what I would likely have to do is, I would likely have to finish the Let's Play of Path of Radiance, then do my transfer bonuses and into the Radiant Dawn, which means I would have to bust out my original Wii, which I don't even know where that is right now, to be frank with you all. I know it's somewhere, though. Uh, so I would have to do that, so that way I could put the GameCube memory card into that as I transferred bonuses from the GameCube data, uh, GameCube memory card data, into the Wii, and then I, well, first off, I would actually have to transfer my Wii U's data, a Path of Radiance, to, fuck, is it my, is it, I don't know how I transfer data between Wii's, but I'd have to do that, I forgot how I do that, off the top of my head, uh, but I'd have to do that, and then I'd have to get it to the Wii, and then I'd have to transfer the data into the, the, the Wii, then I'd have to start a file, on normal mode, with that transfer data, and then immediately quit out, and then... I guess I don't have to immediately quit out, but I would just, you know, eventually, once I get past the prologue, uh, the tutorial, I would save, and then I would just have to transfer that data back to the Wii U, which is my preferred way of playing, uh, or, yeah, my preferred way of playing Wii games. And then, and then I would have to do a playthrough of Radiant Dawn on normal mode, all off screen, so that way I could unlock hard mode, because even though I've already beaten the game twice now, uh, once on normal and once on hard, it won't let me do hard mode unless I have it unlocked for that file, in quotation marks. So, unless I have that mistaken. If I have that mistaken, I'll be actually extremely happy. But I don't think I do. Uh, so what that amounts to is I'm going to have to do a very, very, uh, like, circuitous m series of actions, let's say, to get that to work. And it's all for literally just giving plus two bonuses. To whatever units. <laughs> I guess the real question someone might be asking is if you already have a completed... Fuck off, Masashi. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. Hi, Masashi. Mr. Q, you got the total for tonight. Come by. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways. Some, so someone, some asshole might ask, well, if you've already beaten the game on hard mode, uh, you should still have a file that you could use and do a new game plus on. And you're right. Actually, no, wait, 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 maybe I'm wrong, because now I'm, now I'm using my brain. Oh my god. Maybe this asshole in my hypothetical, like, <laughs> maybe the asshole in my hypothetical discussion was right. Because now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't do the New Game Plus content in, 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 in my last playthrough, which was on hard mode, but I still did hard mode. So if what I was saying earlier was correct, then that would mean I would have had to have done it on normal mode, then hard mode, but then how would I have gotten my transfer bonuses? So, yeah, no, I guess I was wrong. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. This is what it's like to have autism, by the way. This is exactly what it's like. I want you to understand that I am not doing any type of show or, like, performance or making up anything. This is literally how my brain works. This is authentically how my brain works. Are you gonna tell me about renovation? Amazing world. Do I have to? Do I have to talk about Fire Emblem more? We're almost at an hour, baby. I don't want to talk about Fire Emblem any more than I've have already. Cause this is like no one's gonna watch this. <laughs> then again, I say that about like every segment in this Let's Play. <laughs> no one's watching any of this shit. I'm not. <laughs> Well, actually, I am. I'm watching every segment and editing the audio and editing in some things and then doing editing here, there, everywhere, but whatever. Uh, Mr. Kiryu, I've been waiting for your sales from 600,000. Hope we can keep this up. We made a few changes. Okay, what am I... What am I missing? Is it just that my girls aren't at high enough affection? Is that literally it? Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna fuck off, and I'm gonna see if I get another call. Like, I'm gonna wait. Because we still need to get a call from Itakura. Itakura. And I'm gonna wait before I start to worry about that. 
Because, I mean, I guess I'm not doing anything wrong, per se. Worst case scenario, I'm just wasting some time. And, and, and in this game, wasting time is a fucking... It, it's literally a sport. But whatever. <sighs> Anyways, Fire Emblem... I don't actually know what else I could even say about Fire Emblem at this point. I guess just just that I'm I'm trapped in this series. Please send help. Uh, you know what the fucked up part is? You, you want to know what the fucked up part is? I do actually own the special edition of Fire Emblem Fates. Like the one where all the things are on one card. I do. I do. And that's that was a lot of money that I regret spending on some level, but I do own it. And I've played a very small portion of Fates. I started with Birthright, I think it is? Yeah, Birthright. Because Birthright's the one where you're not joining the evil empire. And Conquest is. Uh, and man, that game fucking sucks so far. <laughs> I don't know. It just it feels so black and white for a game that like you really would benefit from, from gray morality. But then if everyone was justifiable... Like, if it was all gray, then there wouldn't be a war, because then why would anyone want to start a war? So obviously there has to be an evil guy, but whatever. I'm not gonna... I, I, fuck Fates. Fates was what killed the series for me, and that, that's like a little bit what killed Nintendo for me. <laughs> I mean, granted, Nintendo had been dropping the ball for a while. Like, both in regards to just, like, having competent, like, overhead and sales and authority and adminship and just overall control of their IPs, but also just in the fact that they weren't making very good games that were of interest to me. So that's why I jumped ship. And not to mention that I fucking despise them because of how they're so aggressively anti-game preservation in the fact that they will persecute and prosecute any single fucking ROM uploader, it feels like. And they also put a cease and desist out to anyone who makes fan games of their games, like another Metroid 2 remake, which was put a cease and desist letter out because there was a game coming out called Samus Returns. Or is it Return of Samus? I think it's Samus Returns, yeah. Sorry, I always mix up the Game Boy Color. We'll give the Game Boy title and the 3DS title. By the way, I'm just going to say it right now. I like the Game Boy Samus... Or I, I like Return of Samus more than Samus Returns. Game Boy better than 3DS. I don't give a fuck. But Samus Returns was okay. It was just... Meh. I didn't really like the new stuff they added. The fucking robot was... Uh, the, that fight took forever and a day. The melee counter was annoying. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the point is that I just don't like Nintendo anymore. And I, that's why I've never bought a Switch. I have bought Switch games. <laughs> By games, I mean I just bought the limited... Uh, what was it called? Fuck off. Limited run games version of No More Heroes' remaster. No More Heroes 1. I didn't buy 2 because I'm not insane. It's Akira you. Why is Itakura not calling me? I Itakura, why aren't you calling me? Ugh, son of a bitch. Is it because the girls aren't doing well enough? Is that literally it? Uh... Anyways, uh... The moral of the story is I don't own a Switch, but I have bought Switch games, because I'm dumb. Well, I also bought Shin Megami Tensei 5, but I plan on emulating that when I do eventually play it. I've heard bad things about it, to be honest. Well, let me put it this way. I've heard good things from people who only played Persona 5. I've heard very bad things from anyone who's played any other Shin Megami Tensei, like, mainline game. <laughs> I've heard bad things from that pe like, like that crowd, whose opinions I respect far more. Okay, are, what are you guys complaining about? Because it's like, oh, the customers would complain about things you need to fix. Set prices are reasonable. The set prices are reason. Okay, I'll go fuck myself then. Well, why am I not getting the menu here? Is great. Why am I not getting a call from Itakura then? It's literally just got to be that every girl isn't at like max affection. That's a pain in the ass. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, here's what we'll do we'll talk to every girl, we'll get them to max affection if possible, and then. I don't know. Wait, why is our furnishings rating not higher? I just noticed that. Does that mean our furnishings are bad? Hello? Ah, oh, fuck. Whatever. 
I've been waiting for you. 600,000 yen. I hope we can keep this up. We made a few changes. What are the changes that I need to make? Did I... Okay, I'm going to double check my furnishings. Did I... Did I just not change something and I forgot? Did I put in the wrong thing? Okay, the sofa. Sofa, leather black. Yes, switch to that. It's the same sofa, shocker. Table, marble deep blue. Again, switch to that. It'll be the same exact fucking table. Shocker. Lamp. Vintage. Whatever. Shocker, it's the same exact one. I like the modern lamp more, to be honest with you, but whatever. Wallpaper gothic. What? Well, look at the wallpaper and tell me that's not gothic. Tell me right the fuck now. Speak, speak nothing but the truth to me. Ask me no questions, tell me no fucking lies. That wallpaper is gothic. Whatever. <sighs> okay, painting. Fantasy painting. I'm just... Everything I... I have the best furnishings according to the guide. So what the fuck? <sighs> it's literally just gotta be that all the girls need to be at max affection. That's the only thing it can be. Whatever. Whatever. This is the one I want. Alright, well here's what we're doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to all of them. Get to as much max affection as I can. And then I'm gonna stop the segment. And we're just gonna start next one hoping that that is the problem. And I solved it. Hey, we're complimenting Chinatsu because she's best girl. I hate I hate the term best girl. I use it ironically. Please don't think less of me. Anyways. Exit. Miho. Miho. I'm gonna compliment you and then probably give you a rose or excuse me, Lily Bouquet. Because you're not going to be high enough for my fucking standards, I guess. Compliment. I miss Rika. Maybe we're not getting this fucking expansion because Rika's not here. I'm just going to throw that out there. Do I really need to get... Fuck it. I have the money. Let's give her the fucking pink lily bouquet. Let's get, I want everyone at max, so that way I can for sure say it's not the girl's problem. Like, the, it's not their fault, I mean, if I don't have the expansion offered. Okay, Ron, I can just, uh, compliment her, and then she'll be at max, so that's fine. Hi, Ron. Exit. Yes, let's go back. Okay, so really Hanako is going to be the biggest fucking pain. Do I have to give her a compliment now? Yeah, let's let's do Hanako first. Let's try complimenting Hanako. Oh, no, no, I mean, uh, scolding. I feel like if I scold her, she'll lose affection. Can I just give her multiple presents, actually? What if I just do that? Ah, fuck. Ugh. Can I just exit and give you another present? Like, if I if I leave, will you be like, Oh, man, you can give me a present again. Like, is that an option? I'll, I mean, fuck it, I'll buy my way to the top. God damn it. Okay, let's compliment you. Please work. Oh, my God. Hanako, you better be fucking not holding me back here. We're a team. Here at Marietta, and I want us all to fucking get me that that renovation. I want to expand the Marietta. I want it all. Hey, Akira, we're scolding you because you've been a bad little girl. Who is this person talking to right now? All right, are you at max affection? You probably are. Bye. Okay, and then we have to talk to Mayu and compliment her because Mayu is also a best girl. Sorry, sorry, Chinatsu. I, I, sorry, everyone. I feel like I, I feel like having almost max for for like one girl and then max on four other girls should be good enough. I feel. It, it, I feel in my heart and soul that should be good enough. But we'll see. We'll fucking see, I suppose. 
just to check, it is the cheat menu, right? It's the fucking cheat menu. The price range is 8,000 to 10,000. Customers always say that they love the menu and the price range, so I mean, clearly that's gotta be correct too. Wait. No, never mind. I was, I was reading something else. I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so 8,000, cheap menu, leather sofa black. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. I'm, I'm out of options. You know what, actually? Let's be annoying. Let's be annoying. Let's, let's give, let's give Akira, let's give Akira a lily bouquet. Because five girls at max. That should be good. That should be good. Fuck off, I don't... I don't want to... No, 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 present. Here, I love you, Akira. Please bear my children. Okay, bye. Alright, so five girls at perfect. Hanako's above half. So that's still good, right? I feel like that's good. Uh, I'm just gonna double check price settings. 8,000 to 10,000. Yes, this is the setting I want. And then we have the cheap menu, right? Yeah, we have the cheap menu. I just... Mm, why are furnishings that low compared to where the... Ah, uh, whatever. What can we do better, an asshole? Everyone seems extremely motivated. Yeah. What can I be doing better, an asshole? To give me specifics. Ah. Uh, Fuck you, Masashi. You and the horse you fucked. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of the segment, guys. So, like, comment, and subscribe for more awful autistic Fire Emblem discussions with myself. Maybe I could tell you about how I feel that the middle Pegasus unit is always the best one. I mean, I guess always is a bit much, but I like, I like the, uh, I like Fiora, and I like, uh, Tana the most. And then, and then Tellius kind of throws that off because there's only two Pegasus Knights in, uh, in, in Path of Radiance. And then there's, there's like, what? Actually, I guess if you count, if you count Alincia, there's three. Well, I guess she, it throws it off because I don't use any of the Pegasus Knights, but whatever. Anyways, that's the end of the segment. Fire Emblem.